I'm Naturally Lydia and I'm back in the kitchen and today I'm going to be making some fun bread. So once you learn the base of yeast breads, which I've been teaching classes in my home, it's really quite that simple. And most yeast breads, you're looking for the same type of thing. So once you've done it and you've seen it rise and you've had results, you're like, wow, okay, that's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. So then you're ready for something a little fun and different. And that's where this recipe comes in. This is actually a childhood favorite of mine that my mom always made. And it is going to be a braided bread. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make three different types of dough. This all starts out with one base dough that's really simple. And then all you're going to do is just separate it and we're gonna have a nice dark rye. We're gonna have a medium uh, wheat and then we're gonna have a white bread. And at the end, we're gonna take it, we're gonna braid it, and it's gonna look fabulous. And so, if you are wanting to really show off your skills this holiday season and bring a fun bread for um, a family party, then this would be it. So I've got my base made. I've just used regular bread flour for this base, and I have got it all going. It's super simple. We've got yeast, salt, um, a little bit of butter, and flour, of course and uh, obviously some warm water. So this has been sitting, and now we're going to divide our dough up, and this is where it gets interesting. Not difficult, just interesting. So I'm gonna divide my dough up. I have three separate bowls, and in the first one, I'm gonna go ahead and make my rye up. In the second one, I'm gonna use my, um, my red, or my hard red winter wheat that I just milled. So it's gonna give it a nice brown, weedy uh, color to it. And then on the last one, we're gonna do white. And that's just gonna be plain old bread flour from the store, and that's what makes it so white and pure. So I've got my hard red as the wheat, and then the white, and then the rye. I've actually freshly milled some rye berries for that as well, and then you're going to add caraway seeds and cocoa, and that's what gives it that dark, dark, pretty color that's really gonna pop in our braid. So join me as we make this really fun bread and prepare you for something fun for this holiday season. For my first batter, which I'm gonna do rye first, so we're actually going to use a teaspoon of caraway seeds. Now you can see that my dough is a little runny, and that's because we haven't added all the flour yet. So this is the consistency that it will be. Don't sweat it, it's fine. And I'm going to actually add two tablespoons So now I've doubled this recipe, so that's the reason that I'm doing two of everything. The actual recipe will, um, you're just gonna wanna take half of that. But because I'm doubling this recipe, because I would like to make a lot, this is why I have so much. So I will post the recipe when I'm done, and you're just going to be looking for um, the normal recipe. If it looks different because I'm doing it, it's just because I'm doubling it. I like to make a lot of bread at a time, and I also have some new neighbors that I'm going to be giving some bread away to, so I'm making extra for that reason, so you do not have to. So I'm doing four tablespoons of molasses. The actual recipe calls for two. Okay, so cocoa powder, and we've got molasses. That is going to really deepen it and make it a nice pretty color. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. And let's see. I mix that up. Now this is my rye one, so I'm also going to put rye flour in that I've just milled. So I like to mill my own flour uh, for health reasons, for the benefits, and I have a little mill at home. You do not have to do that. You can purchase rye, not a problem. You do not have to use freshly milled, um, but I encourage you to look into that if you do not, or if you are local, then come to one of my classes. I have went ahead and added my rye flour. And as you can see, I have kneaded it. It is soft and pliable, but it is not sticky anymore. And look what a nice dark color that has. So this is gonna be our dark color within our braid. So when you're done with that, I take my bowl that's pretty much cleaned out, not all the way, it doesn't have to be. Put a little bit of oil in the bottom of that, roll it around. And then I'm gonna cover this with a tea towel and move on to my next, which is wheat. All right, so I've got my next bowl. That one's ready to rise, and we're going to quickly work on this, which this also, this is the wheat, and this also calls for two tablespoons of molasses. 
Now I chose to use hard red winter wheat um, from Texas. My brother had sent me some, um, some wheat berries and they are delicious. So that's what I'm using. Hard red winter wheat has a nice dark color to it. So it's gonna be the perfect um, medium color for our middle bread. So I've got that all milled up. It's just nice and fresh. And I'm going to add roughly two and a half cups to my wheat flour. All right. It's gonna have a nice light brown to it, but not too dark. And then my remaining will be my white white. So I'm just adding pure white, um, store-bought bread flour. It's that powdery white. So it's gonna be the lightest color and I won't add molasses or anything else to that one. This one is just flour that I'll be adding. And then all three of my doughs will be ready. I will let them rise for about an hour or until they're doubled. And then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, once we have our dough has risen and it looks beautiful, you can see all the colors. We're going to go ahead and divide it out. I'm going to divide my dough in half. Take it like this to roll it. You're going to want to 15 to 18 inches long when you're done of each of your color. So like a little snake of each, 15 to 18 inches. I'm gonna go ahead and get all three of my types of dough into form and then we'll be ready to braid. 